Today is August 6, 2022, and it is day number one of my true hike on the well-known Wainwright's Coast to Coast Walk in Northern England. Uh, it is 9.30 in the morning. I am at the train station in the village of St. Bees, and I'm gonna walk down to the beach so I can touch the water of the Irish Sea and officially start my through hike to the east coast uh, or to the North Sea uh, uh, to a place called uh, Robin Hood's Bay and uh, the idea today is to hike 15 miles to a place called Innerdale Bridge so we'll see how the day is going to be like. This is how my Wainwright coast to coast walk is going to officially start. With my right hand touching the waters of the Irish Sea. It's official now. I'm ready to start walking the 182 miles coast to coast walk from the Irish Sea to the North Sea in Northern England. From the mountains of the Swiss Alps to the northwestern coast of England, it may sound like a, a drastic change for some, but the idea 
of not being able to hike on Via Alpina for an entire week due to the uh, bad weather. Uh, basically on that trail one has to go over a mountain pass every day and uh, with uh, thunderstorms it's just not uh, possible to do it. So I had to make a quick decision and I'm happy that I uh, decided to uh, uh, come to England. So I actually uh, uh, got on a flight from Zurich to uh, London uh, and uh, I was able to catch a train from London to uh, St. Bees and I spent the night last night here and just today I'm starting this um, Wainwright's Coast to Coast Walk uh, which has been on my list of through hikes for a number of years uh, and I just thought this was the right time to come here it's summertime, it's a good time to do this uh, walk and uh, so I'm looking forward to how it's going to be. I'm enjoying it a lot, as uh, you can see it's a nice trail. Uh, right next to the cliffs of uh, what they call the uh, St. Bee's Head, it's a beautiful view.
the Wainwright's Coast to Coast Walk is not recognized as a national trail in England. Uh, so it's basically a walk done through multiple footpaths and uh, one needs to uh, be uh, attentive with navigation because it's very easy just to uh, get lost. Uh, I'm using the um, app uh, which used to be called Gut Hook and now it's far out. So they have pretty much uh, uh, the entire route mapped and uh, this is what I am using. As usual, uh, they will have information on uh, places uh, a hiker can stay overnight, all the towns uh, uh, throughout the way, uh, water sources, people write comments. Uh, so yeah, that's the app that I'm using to, uh, to follow this uh, route. I can feel the drizzle. It's gonna start raining. It's already getting wet. Well, I'm in Northern England. This is uh, expected, you know, this uh, wet weather. We'll see how it's going to be like. Ha <laughs> ha
Since the Wainwright's Coast to Coast Walk has not been officially recognized as a national trail, there are no groups like you have in the US, such as the Pacific Crest Trail Association and on the AT, uh, doing maintenance on this uh, path. Uh, basically, you have local people who use these uh, trails doing uh, sporadic uh, maintenance, but there are, there are no associations, no group of volunteers doing maintenance on the coast to coast walk. So some sections of it, it's uh, pretty much uh, uh, left abandoned and it's, uh, I think a uh, hiker is just walking through. That's what uh, uh, makes the path be uh, a sort of a trail. This section ahead is known as Raven Crag and it's supposed to be a uh, steep descent. So let's see how this is gonna be compared to uh, the Alpina. It's not that bad. Uh, on Via Alpina, there was a stretch that uh, it took me a couple of hours going down a very steep mountain. I was so tired when I got to the uh, flat section of the trail. So this is a, a short section here. It's not going to be that difficult. I really enjoyed my first day on the coast to coast walk. I was able to hike 15 miles from the village of St. Bees to uh, Ennerdale Bridge. And I uh, checked in at a hotel, I just ate my dinner, and now I'm gonna rest. So tomorrow I can continue my through hike on the coast to coast walk from the Irish Sea to the North Sea in Northern England.